Ted Cheeseman dominating and winning in style the British Super Welterweight title over a senior Byfield this past weekend at the Copper Box Arena. And in only 15 and 0 now as well, so only 15 fights in, he's only 23 years old. And while he's won this title, this is a title that he's always wanted to win, and most British fighters would love to win that title. But for me, I think all fighters should look at that as a stepping stone. I mean, I think if anybody who ever wins that title and just sits on that title and keeps on defending it um, until whenever they lose it or retire, that's a bit of a bad move. But this is not the mindset of Ted Cheeseman. He, he will look at this as a stepping stone to go on to European level, world level, all that kind of thing. But only 15 and 0, obviously he's still learning as well. And very, very proud of him. Of course, he's part of the Sport and Icons team. A lot of you guys would have seen that when you were watching the Sky Sports there as well. So very, very proud of him and glad to have him part of the team. So big up again to Scott for sorting all that out. Um, but what does Ted Cheeseman do now? Does he try and get the Anthony Fowler fight? Now that he's British champion, would Anthony Fowler be more interested in this fight? Because beforehand, it's a good fight, it's a big fight, and a lot of people would love to have that fight. And it's a kind of like a chief support, of course, um, as well. But now the British title's on the line, Ted Cheeseman's reputation and name is growing, especially now, of course, he's with Sport and Icons, right? He's on par with Anthony Joshua, right? Yeah, sarcasm. I know some people will go, what? No, of course, I'm being sarcastic. Uh, but his reputation is growing very, very uh, big now. And, of course, Anthony Fowler as well. So is it a case of, is it another one of these fights that should be built a little bit more? Do you think that maybe they should fight next? Um, we know that uh, Ted Cheeseman would fight him next, but he's quite willing to not fight him next and maybe fight him in the fight after. And Anthony Fowler as well. Now, we know Anthony Fowler, given a choice of anybody that he wants to fight, it will be Scott Fitzgerald. Um, these two have some kind of beef. I'm not too sure what the beef is. I mean, when I had a had a chat with Anthony Fowler in Newcastle a couple of weeks back there, um, I did say to him, "Is there some kind of needle between you guys?" He was like, "Well, not 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 so much. It's a case of he's in my division. He's at my kind of like like a level right now, and I need to get past him to progress." So he wants that Scott Fitzgerald fight. Obviously, Scott Fitzgerald he's got an injured hand. He's not going to be back until at least the New Year. So, what does Anthony Fowler do? Does he fight another tune-up fight um, a step-up fight maybe he can get in there with um i don't know a bigger name than what he has done previously i mean whoever it may be right um and then get the scott fitzgerald fight and then go for ted cheeseman and at that point maybe cheeseman versus anthony fowler for the british title could be a headliner as in the copper box as in the echo arena that kind of thing and of course who would win that fight it's a very very good fight right i mean both these guys are come forward fighters they're both um uh, got some decent power behind them i think ted cheeseman um as much as he's perfectly okay with getting hit in the face um you know he does like to block shots with his head sometimes although against a senior byfield he was very good defensively i thought but um fowler he seems to have that I don't want to put my hands up because it means I can't get some full welly behind my punches. So I think um, foul is probably a little bit easier to hit. And I think that these styles would gel very, very well. Now, ultimately, that's the fight that I would love to see, at least within the next 12 months, at least. Um, at some point in 2019, I want to see that fight. But do you guys want that fight now? Is it a case of, you know what, forget Scott Fitzgerald, forget all the other British kind of um, level guys or the up and comers or... Um, people who are kind of like, um, you know, coming down in their career, maybe get a few of those names on the record. You know what, just get in there now. I know some people would love that, but would it be a headliner right now? Potentially. Why not? Potentially. But at the same time, if people said no, I can understand why, because um, Anthony Fowler's only had, um, was it eight fights or something like that now? Uh, Ted Cheeseman's only got 15 fights, and of course he's only just won the British title as well. So maybe these guys can have um, another fight in between and then get... Uh, and then get it on. Do you think maybe Ted Cheeseman should just vacate the, the belt now and maybe not try and win it outright by defending it three times? Do you think, um, or maybe you, you guys think that maybe he should? Um, or maybe keep it and then go for a European title. If things work out, great, vacate the British. If they don't, at least you've still got the British, that kind of thing. Um, maybe he could try and make an assault on a world title at some point very soon because um, he is uh, ranked now of course as well so if an opportunity came along 
I think Ted will probably um, take it, to be fair. I think he would. Um, I think he's uh, brave enough and he believes in his own ability to mix it with anybody. So I think if a, if, if, if a world title presented itself, I think he'd actually take it. But is it the best move at this point in his career? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, a lot of it's speculation because we don't know how far Ted Cheeseman is going to go, how far um, Anthony Fowler is going to go or Scott Fitzgerald or any other kind of things. What happens with a senior byfield? Um, is it a case of he was overrated before this? Is it a case of he's much better than what people thought? And um, maybe Ted Cheese was not getting enough credit for that kind of win. Who knows? I mean, O'Hara Davis said a senior byfield is a world-class fighter and Ted Cheeseman dealt with him comfortably. So that will certainly make... Ted Cheeseman, a world-class fighter, according to O'Hara Davis, right? So, who knows? Who knows? So, anyway, drop your thoughts below about it all. Um, obviously, I'm very, very proud of uh, Ted Cheeseman and what he's done, uh, becoming British champion as well. And, of course, he's like um, our flag bearer, if you like, of sport and icons. He is our fighter. So, anyway, drop your thoughts below about it all. Click that thumbs up and, of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.